Hello friends. I just wanted to get on and share something the Lord spoke to me and he said get on and talk to the people about this. First of all, I want to encourage you no matter what we are seeing right now and it was very disturbing to both Jeff and I to see the horrendous violence that took place at the uh, Trump rally and the Lord is still protecting us. There are people that have given their lives and to me, we're going to see some things off and on, but the Lord is taking care of the issues. The, he's stemming the flow. With all my heart, I believe he's stemming the flow and he is getting to the root of the violence and he's going to deal with it. And I want you to be encouraged by that. So the, the scripture I got today was, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. The Lord said in John 14, let not your heart be troubled. And we think about that. It's, it, you know, in plain English today, it would be, don't allow your heart to be troubled. And that's kind of hard to do in the natural because we're seeing these things. I try to not watch the news all the time, but sometimes I do. And there are things that I see that are very disturbing. But behind the scenes, there's so much good going on. And in this day and time, God is bringing unity. We're going to see, we're at a turning right now. We are seeing a turn for our nation right now. And you're going to, going to see some major, major good things begin to, to happen and emerge right along with the negative stuff, which is still flowing. There's still things going on. And God is exposing a lot of people and a lot of plots against our nation, against the people of other nations, our allies. There's a lot going on, but God is not done with this nation. He's not done with the earth, and he's certainly not done with you and I. And he will keep his hand upon you. Trust in him with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding. So many years ago, uh, I believe it was the second term of uh, President Obama, and um, I was quite discouraged. I saw a lot of bad things happening, and this is very controversial. I apologize for offending you if you're offended, but I'm just going to do what the Lord told me to do. He wanted me to share this also, that at the end of that term, or I, I guess he had just gotten reelected, that's when I became very discouraged because I'd seen some things that were very bad going on in the nation. And Jeff and I have been praying in the Capitol now for over 20 years. And there's things that you see behind the scenes, things you hear about, things you know about because the Lord tells you things are going behind on behind the scenes also. And so the Lord had warned me about that administration. And here he won a, another term. And I was so discouraged. And the Lord said to me, he asked me this. He says, are you... Did, are you giving up on America? And I said, oh, I caught myself. No, Lord, I'm not going to give up on America. He says, I'm not giving up. So he told me, he said, after that administration, a David will come. And that David will set things right in this nation. And you know who that was? That was President Donald John Trump. That's right. That was Trump. I didn't know at the time that the Lord spoke that to me that that was President Trump. And then we watched, and the one that came in was President Donald John Trump. The Lord spoke to me in 2019 that he will have a second term. And at the time, there was a lot of confusion. A lot of prophets were getting the same thing. And I had a dream. I had a dream one night. This is how the Lord made it very clear to me. I had a dream, and I saw... President Trump standing and there was this huge, it was just, I don't even know how many people this represented, but a long line in my dream of people. And they were, they were uh, rooting for him. That's the word I'm going to use because I'm going to talk about this for a minute here. They were rooting for him. And the Lord spoke in that dream. He said, the American people are going to honor Donald Trump. President Trump with a second term. I'm going to repeat that. He said the American people are going to honor President Donald Trump with a second term. Well, then we watched 
that didn't happen right then, I believe he was honored. I'm personally one that believes it was stolen. God's going to deal with that too. I'm going to tell you that right now. God is going to deal with the theft of that 2020 um, election. Now, we're, we're here today, and we've seen this man be so uh, attacked, violently even. And if, if you will go back and look at David in the Bible, Saul tried to kill him several times. No one could kill David until David was done, and David's faith was in God. I've heard President Donald John Trump speak about his faith in God, and he is trusting God to keep him in there. He is not God. We don't worship him as God. He is a hero to a lot of people because he's standing up for what's right. And I don't think that that is sin, to have a hero. I think we all need a modern day Christian hero that loves God and loves people and loves America. And he loves the world. But when the Lord spoke to me that David will come and do this, that's I've never forgotten that. The Lord reminded me the other night. He said, I want you to talk to the people about this. Tell them about that. And then he gave me the scripture, let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid because God is on the throne and he is in charge of this. And this is being orchestrated by him. No, the gunshots were not orchestrated by God. That was pure evil from the pit of hell. That is not God. But what the Lord did, did was save President Trump and the precious man, the fireman that gave his life for his wife and his child, he is a martyr in my opinion. He is a hero. And I tell you, you need to go to the GoFundMe and if God if God directs you to give to that family and there are other victims too that were injured. But I tell you, God is not done. And actually the closer we get to what God is wanting for this nation, the more the enemy, the devil, fights. And that's what we're seeing, but he's going to lose. He always overplays his hand. He is a fool, a fool, a fool. The devil is a fool. And he will lose and lose and lose and still get back up and think he's gonna win. That's not very intelligent. But God has a plan for President Trump. He has a plan for America. He has a plan for you and I, and God is opening up his treasures, in provision for you and for I. He's opening up opportunities for ministry for us so that we can help others and encourage one another. And I just want to encourage you today, let not your heart be troubled because our God is on the throne and he will use whomever he pleases, whether you like President Trump or you can't stand him. Hey, I'm on the side of the Lord. If God says he's the David, I'm sticking with the Lord. I'm going to support David, President Donald John Trump. I'm going to pray for him. Let's pray for President Donald John Trump and his cabinet that he's choosing and the people around him, his family. Let's pray for Biden and his family and everybody that, that he has working with him for safety. We don't want, we don't want uh, violence toward them. We want them to come to know the Lord and repent of the evil things they've done to our nation, but we want them to be saved. That is the bottom line. I am not advocating any kind of violence or hatred for anyone. We love all people. We just need to pray that the evil, that the enemy is working through these people and behind the scenes stops, that the enemy is bound. So Lord, right now, I just come against violence in our nation. I break that off of our nation. I speak to that violent spirit to be unseated and bound in Jesus name. And you said, Lord, that whatever we bind in this earth is bound in heaven. So I'm binding that spirit of violence and hatred and division. And Lord, I lose your Holy Spirit's uh, work to be done in this earth. I lose peace. I lose love. I lose unity and kindness, forgiveness and all that you have for us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that right now it's time to become unified and love one another and forgive each other. Listen, I love all my friends. I hope you do too, and my relatives, wherever they stand. 
but I was supposed to give this word and I have to answer to the Lord and I work for him. <laughs> so I gave this word and hope it encouraged you. And I want you to know that God's saying to you, let not your heart be troubled. I love you dearly and the Lord loves you dearly and loves our nation. God bless you all and God bless President Donald John Trump and God bless America. Bye for now.